Hi, this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and I'm doing something just a little bit different. In a previous video, I created some paper roses, and so many of you had some really great questions, and I thought I'd come on and just answer some of those questions. One of the questions was, could you use book paper to make your roses? And so as you can see, the answer is yes. Um, in the previous video, I made these out of the scrapbook paper like this. And so I wasn't sure if the book paper would be as sturdy as the scrapbook paper, but it holds up really well and it's really easy to manipulate. Now, in order to get this um, the shading around the edges, all I did was use some Distress Ink. So I just used the Tim Holtz Distress Ink and then I took a sponge and just sponged the outer layer of the flower. But I did this first after I cut the flower, before I started assembling it, I distressed the edges um, of the cut out flowers. Okay, another question was concerning Mod Podge. And I went ahead and after I actually made a flower, I went and put Mod Podge along the edges. I just brushed it lightly and it did give it a little bit of a more of a sturdiness. And so after I formed the flower, I put some Mod Podge just lightly brushing the edges of the petal and then what I did is I went out I went and outlined the outside with some ice stickles and it's a glitter glue so that was one of the other questions too what about glitter using glitter on the flower so once again the answer is yes it works just fine and you can see a little bit of a shine right on there um, from the Mod Podge that I used. And so that works well. I really got carried away with using the, um, the stickles. I really like the way it just takes the flower to me to another level. And so that does work. I'm thinking also as another idea, some of you mentioned using magazines. And so if you have magazines, this is a great way to upcycle and use some of those old magazine pages. Here's another one I did using the scrapbook paper and I just went out on the outside of this. Um, with the glitter glue and it's really easy because this has a nice sharp point so all I did is just just traced around here and then I let them I let it dry for about uh, probably about 20 to 30 minutes about 30 minutes just to make sure it's really dry and so this worked really well so I did this after I already formed the flower let me just show you a few more that I made. I really got carried away with making these flowers and they're so pretty. And so I may go back and Mod Podge a few more of these and make some whole bouquets. This is one also that I went back and did the Mod Podge on that. And so it works. After you, I don't know how it would work if you put the Mod Podge on before you start putting together your flower but I just did it after and it still worked fine. So I hope this answered a few of your questions. It's a really quick video, but I had so many questions um, and repeat questions, I thought it would be easier to just come on and show you what I did. And I've been having so much fun making these. So I will post that video below in the description box. Thanks once again. For joining me on this crafting journey. I'm having so much fun and I love the fact that you guys are leaving lots of comments below because I'm learning some new ideas and new techniques from you. So thanks so much for joining me and happy crafting.
Bye.